Hello and welcome. In today's lesson, we are going to learn how to play Mike Oliver's Tank Top on the recorder. This song uses three notes, and we need to learn how to play them before we can start playing the song. The first note is B, and to play it, we use our thumb and our first finger on our left hand. The note sounds like this. Let's try that together. The next note is A. To play an A, we use our thumb and our first and second finger on our left hand, like this. The note sounds like this. Let's try that together. And the third note is G. To play a G, we use our thumb, our first, second, and third finger on our left hand. And the note sounds like this. Let's try that one more time. Good. I'm going to play the song once to demonstrate it for you. So follow along with the music and let's go. Okay, let's learn the song together. The first note in this song is a G, followed by another G, and then we're going to play two Gs quickly, one after the other, and then another G. The rhythm in that first bar sounds like this. Let's try that together. One, two, three, four. Let's move on to the second bar. The second bar starts with two Gs played quickly, one after the other. Then G again. And then a slightly longer G worth two beats. Let's play the second bar together. One, two, three, four. Okay, let's combine the first and the second bar, one after the other. Ready? One, two, three, four. Now we move up to a B. So we're jumping up to a B, we're lifting these two fingers up. And we can practice moving between these two notes like this, from G to B. You can try that on your own, away from this lesson. Okay, bar number three. We've got B, and then another B for two beats and then A for one beat. Let's try that together. One, two, three, four. So that rhythm is a little bit tricky because that long beat is in the middle of the bar. So we're going to try it one more time. Ready? One, two, three, four. And then the next note is a G, and we hold this note for four beats. One, two, three, four. All right, let's try the first four bars together. Ready? One, two, three, four. Very good. 
Let's move on to bar number five. If you look at bar number five, you'll notice that it's exactly the same as bar number one. So why don't we try playing that together? Ready? Bar number five. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Very good. Okay, bar number six, also exactly the same rhythm as bar number two. And it goes like this. One, two, three, four. Let's play bar number five, immediately followed by bar number six. Ready? One, two, three, four. Now we move on to bar number seven, which has the same rhythm as bar number three, but the notes have changed. We first have an A, then another A for two beats, and then a B. Let's try that bar together. One, two, three, four. And we're moving from an A with our thumb and two fingers down up to a B. We can do a similar exercise like we did moving from G to B by practicing lifting our finger up in time like this. And don't forget, when we play a note on a recorder, we're making a two, two shape with our mouth. Let's move on to bar number eight. Here we have an A, and we hold it for four beats. One, two, three, four. Okay, let's go from bar number five to bar number eight. Ready? One, two, three, four. Very good. Now we move on to bar number nine, and we have a slightly different rhythm. This is how it goes. Let's try that together. It's all on the note of G, 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 G. Ready? One, two, three, four. Then we play that again in the next bar. Two, three, four. And then, Again, for a third time, the same notes, the same rhythm. One, two, three, four. And finally, we have an A, and we hold it for four beats. Let's try that phrase, those four bars starting on bar number nine. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Very good. Okay, we're in the last four bars of this song now. You'll notice that this rhythm is one we've already played, but we're changing the note to a B. It goes like this. Let's try those two bars together. Ready? One, two, three, four. Good. And now a rhythm we've played before, but our notes are going B, B, A, G, like this. Let's try those two bars together. One, two, three, four. Okay, now that we've learned the song, let's put our backing tracks on. We'll play the slow version first, and then we'll move to the fast version.
Thanks for following along and joining in with the lesson today. Links to sheet music and backing tracks are in the video description below, and I'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.